Okay, this is just a quick little uh, update video. My Devil Girl robot. I had ordered before I even started the robot off of AliExpress some little filament LEDs. You can see they're extremely flexible. And bend them and twist them. These were short ones and they were rated at 3 volts, which wasn't a problem because I was going to put a dropping resistor on them anyway. A lot of the different colors you can get them. And the samples that I ordered, I ordered some blue, some green, and some white. This one's the green one. And I'm running it through a 220 ohm resistor off 3 volt. And here's what it looks like if you just run it off the 3 volts like they're specifying. Whoa! I'm sure it's overloading the camera because it, it hurts to look at it with your eyes. Um, put the white one inside the devil girl. I've got the hood off right now, obviously. But here you can see how it how that lights up from being like that color to this color. And of course we can put the let's put the 3D printed dome on there. There we go. So yeah, much nicer than the the crinkled up little uh, LEDs from the dollar store. Um, show you what the blue looks like since you've seen the green. Oh, and the way you ID on these things, what's positive and what's negative. If the camera will focus in on that, see that little teeny hole in that end? That's the positive side. The negative side won't have the hole. Like I say, extremely flexible. You could bend them in any shape you want. And let's hook up the negative again. This is just on three volts right here. And here's on the full three. Lock the clip off the batteries. Or worse than that, the wire itself broke. Okay. Here we go. Holy Jesus, that hurts to look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it through my 220 ohm resistor here to drop it back to a very low rating. So you can actually, at that low, you can actually see all the individual little uh, LEDs in there. Anyway, these are. Uh, very inexpensive, very flexible, and they sell them in different lengths. They sell them in different colors. Uh, I didn't search other places. I just just go up to AliExpress and search for uh, filament LED, string LED, just flexible LED, different words. You'll find different ratings. It won't do any good for me to put a link there because the links constantly change in this video. It could be viewed who knows when. But... Um, very nice. This is the uh, the shorter length. I, I guess I can get to uh, a ruler here. I wonder if I think it was like... You know, let's just find out. Okay, if you include um, the soldering tabs, this would be 60 millimeters long. But if you're just looking at just the part that lights up, it's like 50. Now, I think if I remember right, they also sold a shorter version that 30 or 33 millimeters or something that would be a little bit too short because I for this project because I, I think they're including these uh, soldering tabs when they tell you the length of them but they, they saw them long I, I think I saw listings up to 300 millimeters long but not bad at all I don't suggest running it without a, a dropping resistor you want to prolong the life you don't want to burn them out and uh, it's also just too bright and too painful without some sort of control. Of course in the uh, devil robot here it uh, is running on three AAA so I had four and a half volts in there so that's why I would, the main reason I was going to go ahead and put a dropping resistor in there even for when I was running these guys. It turned out pretty cool.